just sort of see through. What a ball dead thin in the middle here. So they're just little hairs left. This is Paul. He's 26 and he wants more hair. Hundreds of thousands of men from around the world are going to Turkey for cheap hair transplant surgery. Over 90% of patients are coming from the United Kingdom. Paul's one of them, so we followed him on his journey and spending their hard-earned cash to get more hair. Paul lives in Middlesbrough with his mum and dad. In a week's time, Paul will be on a flight to Turkey to have hair transplant surgery. You'll constantly see me doing this all night. <laughs> I want to find out why he's doing it. So I'm here to meet him and his family. How does it make you feel that Paul's having this operation? Over the last year, his humour's sort of receded as fast as his hairline. He's not as jokey as he used to be and he's not as confident as he used to be. So I'm just hoping that if this does go right, that it's going to bring back the humour in the old Paul back again. Paul works full time in a supermarket warehouse and has been saving up for six months for this treatment, which will cost him £1,400. And I'll just bring this, obviously, the long bit across to hide. Paul's taking me on a night out with his mates in Middlesbrough. While we're getting ready, he tells me what he sees when he looks at his hair in the mirror. This is uh, me at my worst, but you know, even my girlfriend doesn't seem like this. I hear hiding it, I hear flicking it across all the time. It embarrasses me going to the hairdressers and brush it forward and it's just... You just see people looking at me. So you're going to pay nearly £2,000 to... Money can't buy happiness, can it? It's worth it for me, £2,000 to have a full set of hair. Or even just the possibilities, good enough for me, I guess. Why do you feel you have to do something about it, though? It's just confidence. Mm -hmm. Um, come on a weekend mostly when I'm off work. Paul's taking me to his local social club to meet his best mates. Uh, he told me that some of their banter about his hair has made him question the way he looks. Is it more relating to your age? Yeah. Because yeah, bang on you're 26 way. and you, you're going bald. But you're not going bald bald though, are you? Yeah, but... It's... Like, in reality, you haven't got what we call egg in a bun, have you? No, well, in reality, have you got that? No. So how do you think you can understand what he's going through if you don't see anything yeah. wrong? I mean, it's receded a little that. bit there. Look at what I was saying. Look in the mirror. We're looking, guys. Is that Lee? Embrace the ball this man. I didn't even notice Paul's hair loss when I met him. But it's obviously having such a big impact on his confidence that despite the risks, He's determined to go ahead with the surgery. Yeah. Istanbul is hair transplant city. Thousands of men travel from all over the world to get low price surgery in Turkey. And as you walk around, the patients are easy to spot. There are more than 300 clinics and businesses offering hair transplants here. One healthcare agency told us inquiries from the UK about hair loss treatment in Turkey have almost doubled in the past two years. I've come here with Paul and he's letting us film the whole procedure. It's his first time in Turkey and he's only going to be here for 48 hours. Okay, Paul, so I'm giving you a constant form. At the clinic, Paul meets his surgeons for the first time. His hair is inspected. So, Paul, you have bilateral recessions. And he's given a consultation. Do you want something special from us? Or do you want me to recommend to you what we are going to do? I don't want it to look fake, do you know what I mean? I want it to just look natural. The surgeons draw Paul's new hairline with marker pens. Did you like the front line? Yeah, yeah that's cool. Are we clear? Agreed? Perfect. And he's prepared for surgery. Paul will be awake for this eight hour operation. 
This looks painful, but it's actually a needle-free gun used to inject a local anaesthetic. 2,700 hair follicles are taken from the back of Paul's head where he still has lots of hair. This surgery would have cost Paul around four times as much if he'd stayed at home to have it done. During the last stage of the operation, Paul's follicles are reinserted. Sounds crazy, but I just can't believe they're actually pushing hair into his head. The surgeons say it will be at least six months until Paul sees good results. Having watched this so close up, I can tell that this has been more gruelling than Paul expected. Well, I just didn't take it out and put it in the front, but I just didn't realise how many injections it was and how long it actually is. But what's going on inside Paul's head and inside the heads of thousands of other young men putting themselves through this? The bandages go on and it's time for Paul to see his new look. He hasn't seen it. That's the most important Yeah. Thing. <laughs> it looks mental. It looks what? It looks There's mental to me. Maybe now it's mental. I hope Yeah. With the procedure over, all Paul can do now is head home and wait to see if and how his hair grows back. A month later, I'm back in Middlesbrough to see how Paul's hair's growing and to find out how his new look is going down with his family. Hi! Hello. How are you? you okay? Good, thanks. How are you? How are you? <laughs> oh, let me have a look at your hair. The first month after surgery is the worst period for hair transplant patients. After around 10 days, the hair from the transplanted follicles falls out and it can take up to six months for new hair to properly grow back. I was like waking up and I was like happy about it. I was like looking at it and I was like, yeah, it looks so cool. So looking at his hair now, does he have any regrets? I might go back for another one actually, depending on how this turns out. You're thinking of going back already? It's like having a puzzle and having one piece missing. So I'm looking in the mirror now, it is a bit light. So I might consider going back for that. With young men feeling pressure from celebrity culture, society, and those around them, and an industry making cosmetic surgery cheaper, it looks like more and more guys will be going to extreme lengths to change the way they look. But I wonder whether they'll ever be satisfied. Like Paul said, he's already considering going back for more. It's just what the young'uns do nowadays. It's vanity for them, isn't it? TV pressure. You can see all these people on these shows like Love Island and they've got to be like them. And it's not really, that's not the real world. He's fine the way he is, bald or what? He's a good lad, he's all right. Hello, just a short video to tell you my experience of my hair transplant. Um, I'll start by telling my name. Paul Redmond. Uh, I chose Smile Hair Clinic and it was probably the best choice I think I've made so far. Uh, I got 2,700 grafts. Um, I was pretty much receding from the front, just waiting to see where I've had it now. And I'm at currently four months, so to say at four months and see this amount of growth, I'm pretty happy right now and I'm quite excited to see where it leads to in the next two, three months. Um, I chose to get a hair transplant because of my confidence. My confidence was beat. Um, and I really, really wanted to, you know, boost it. I wanted to improve myself. And people might not agree with that, but it's my decision and it's what I chose to do. Uh, I went through QNO Medical and it was, com I won't lie, it was completely accidental. I found them and it was a good accident. Um, the lady who dealt with me was absolutely fantastic. She was called Elizabeth. She helped me 100%. Uh, she, like, I've always spoke about getting a hair transplant, but I was never like, I didn't think I'd actually go for it. But after being on the former there, and she, she did everything for me. I, I pretty much booked the flights, job done. What, what more do you want? And yeah, that's pretty much the reason I went with them. It was 
total accidental, but it was a really good accident. The procedure for me was good, quick. It was about five, six hours, I think it was, for mine, 2,700 grafts. Uh, for me, the injections, they're a little painful. They're not, they're not excruciating, they're not crazy painful, but people are different, and it's as simple as that. A uh, few of them did really hurt, some of them I didn't even feel, and yeah, I'd probably rate it a 5 out of 10 at the max, and that's pushing it. Yeah. Now that my friends and family have um, they've seen how it is, and the, they all thought I was silly for going to get one, but yeah, again, it was my choice, so but they've all seen it now, and they're all, they're all quite impressed, to be honest, they're all there, happy for me, and they're glad that I've actually went and done the procedure, so that's a good thing. Um, I think it took about two weeks for me to uh, hit the shedding phase, and it was horrible. There's nothing I can describe it as, it's just not nice seeing it all fall out and having to be so careful washing it and trying to keep the grafts safe as possible. But um, a couple of weeks after, the, a week or so after that, I think it was all done, ready, and there was little hairs were coming back through. Uh, yeah. Um, I did have a little bit of shock loss. I think some of you will probably have seen the uh, pictures that I posted, and I was quite worried, reasonably worried to be honest. I didn't didn't expect to see a little patch like that, but um, I can show you now. It's all it's all gone. It's come it's come back nicely. It's not a problem. So there's a bit of worrying for no reason. So that was good. But decent growth. I think it was probably about two three months for me. I think um, it was around about the third month that I started really seeing some significant growth, which is a uh, Good to see always, because the last thing you want to do is pay for a procedure and find out it's not worked. So, yeah, it's, it's basically about it, really. So, um, I hope this helps you. And any tips, really, all I can give you is just say, use biotin, be very careful, and just just listen to what the doctors say. Just, do you know what I mean? If they're telling you not to smoke, not to go to the gym, just do it. It's 10 days, you know, it's, it's not a lot. Just, it's your choice. You, you, you don't want to waste your money if you're going to ruin it over... A, Quick fag or quick drink, or go for a run, you know, just 10 days off. Enjoy it. Yeah.